is this one major week going to derail a season for both of these or keep it very much on track and make the season? Well, it depends which way you look. I mean, the, the, you could lose both games and, and win the Champions League, couldn't you? Then you've had a successful season. City won the Champions League. If they lost the FA Cup semi-final and, and lost to Liverpool and Liverpool won the league and City won the Champions League, they'd both be happy. So is it a pivotal week? It's huge in the fact that there's a lot at stake, but that happens at the end of every season. Yeah. Um, I, I was having a discussion yesterday about... But they're facing <coughs> off against one another, aren't they? Yeah, and, and I'm really excited to see it because you're talking about the two best teams in Europe, arguably. Yes. Maybe throw Munich in there. But it's the the quality <clears throat> the quality on show is going to be brilliant. The play, players, top players playing under pressure is what you always want to see. But I was having a discussion yesterday regarding what is, you know, talk about a successful season. Um, if Manchester City, for example, were to finish second in the title, lose the FA Cup final to Chelsea and, go the and, Champions League. and lose the Champions League on penalties. Oh, yeah. Is, that a, is that a disaster? Yes. De de oh, yeah. Well, yes. yeah, because you're, you're judging it on silverware, but everything is becoming based on what you win. These two managers and these two clubs have won plenty. So what do you want? You want success. You want, well, Klopp you, hasn't. Pardon? Klopp hasn't. By well, he's, he's won the two big ones. And what I was going to say is you want consistency from your squad. Hmm. Both of them are producing a level of consistency we haven't seen for a long time in terms of winning game after game after game, even when they're not playing so well like Liverpool yesterday. So I think, I actually personally think both of them will win something. Yeah. I think they'll get one each. I don't know why, I've just got a feeling about it. I don't know which one, but I think they'll both... I don't, I don't see anyone beating Liverpool or Man City in the Champions League. So we'll have to wait and see if that comes to fruition. I'm really excited. That week is it is a, it is a big week. Oh, I, I would yeah. say I would say the FA Cup is probably the least important for both managers. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. would pro I would suggest that the FA Cup semi final, although on the day it will feel huge. Well, I think Pep said in the past, Simon, it's got it. It's, the Premier League takes precedence over it. Well, no, it, it doesn't. Champions League for Pep. Champions League because, for Pep and City because takes because over Because they're everybody. playing one another. If they're both going to rotate, then they're both going to be in a neutral position, aren't yeah. they? Yes. So it, you, you look at it and say, I think to go to your analogy, if Manchester City were to steal defeat from the jaws of victory, which is not win the Premier League not win at the FA Cup or win the Champions League. Comparatively speaking, for their model of football club, for the expectation of them and where they've positioned themselves with the managers that they've got, it would be a comparative disaster because you cannot keep on suggesting that Pep Guardiola doesn't win the Champions League and that's a success for Man City because the Premier League, of course, is the bread and butter and they'll all say they want it, but the one thing they do want as well is the Champions League. So whilst we use disasters in very flippant terms, yeah, in football that. terms for Manchester City, oh, yeah, it I'm is a... It is a poor return if they were to have their season derailed. Now, neither one of these sides, if they've got elite managers in them, should react to the individual games and then their seasons be curtailed by an individual yeah. game knocking them off their axis. Correct. Yeah, yeah. And that's the component you've got. But, but you've got two elite managers and neither one of them is going to be knocked off their axis by losing an individual game against the other one. Yeah. So if Liverpool lose to Man City at the Etihad net and Man City rock on to win the Premier League, it's not going to lock Liverpool off I think the other thing you there. find, Jim, is when you're a player, sometimes the, the, the first game changes the dynamic of the next one in the same week when you play big boys twice to, in the, in a week yeah you know the the team that for example if city were to beat liverpool in the league game and that confidence and that's then you you would have a more you go to do that second well, time no, around no, no. If, if anything no you go the other way because you'd have a Liverpool okay. hurting, okay. desperately trying, and I think Klopp might change his selection okay. in the semi-final. Now, Danny, you flagged this up. It's Liverpool City, of course it is, but it's Chelsea Palace, and you're saying Conor Gallagher. This is not on. Conor Gallagher cannot turn out um, against, his parent, against his parent club, which is Chelsea, so he can't play for Palace, which you think is wrong. It's more sad than wrong. I understand the reasons, but I'm just gutted for somebody who's given so much this season. He was tremendous again. I don't know if you saw the game against Everton. Brilliant performance. But what are the reasons from not being able to play against his integrity? Club? I suspect. Yeah. I mean, if you look at it and say that there is, there is there is always an argument, a potential argument in the backdrop of people's minds that a player playing against his parent club could be compromised in the outcome. So you take that jeopardy off the table, you take that debate off the table, you take that questioning from people's minds. That Do actually, you agree with it, Simon? It is what it is. If you know what the rule is before you go into the season, unfortunately you can't legislate for an FA Cup semi-final. No, if you tell you... Palace at the beginning of the season, you're going to get an FA Cup semi-final, <laughs> you're going to be rocking in the league, but you have to drop. You can't play Conor Gallagher in the semi-final, they'd have bit your arm off at the shoulder. True. I think it just for the lad, it's really, yeah. it used to be yeah. the clubs decided, Jim. It used to be definitely that the clubs could decide and make an agreement. Yeah. I think so. I think I, it I was, Simon. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it was, and then they changed it because of what you just said. Well, he can't, I was, well, he can't play. Say, but Dan, I don't know when that was, because going back 20 years, when we were doing loan signings, you couldn't play them against your parent club. Well, you were in the Championship, though. 
but but not all the time. Uh, <laughs> so going, oh, going back, going back, me. going back, eighteen years. Clip that one um, up to the twilight of your career you when you were at Blackburn or wherever you were. Too late now. It's, he can't let you have one, can he? He oh, can't no. let you. Have no, one. no, no. He came off the ropes pretty well there. I have to say, Simon, there's a message. Des Kelly's interview with Gerrard's getting talked about. Uh, Stephen Gerrard's team lost the game. So which one of the two of them, Des or Gerrard, did the job on Saturday? Um, both, I suspect, but I don't. I I always find it very difficult. I have no empathy for football managers and no empathy for players when they come out and do interviews because that's the job you do. You're very well looked after to sure. do those jobs. Yeah. But I do sometimes <clears throat> listen to journalists asking badly researched questions just to get a rise out of somebody. And I do like it when someone goes right. That'll do. Mm. I like it when Gordon Strachan, you say, when someone says, "Can I have a quick word?" and he says, "Velocity." Yeah. I do like those <laughs> yeah. kind of responses. Yeah. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.